Top Med Talk. Well, hello and welcome. It's Top Med Talk here at Anesthesiology 2023, the annual meeting of the American Society of Anesthesiologists. Top Med Talk is here in the exhibit hall at the Moscone Center in beautiful San Francisco, and it has been an amazing experience so far. I'm Desiree Chapel. I'm your host, and I'm joined by my co-hosts, Mike Grocott and Guy Ledbrook. Guys, welcome back to day two of Anesthesiology 2023. Thank you, Desiree. Terrific Thank you. to be here. I got a chat. Is it Moscone or Moscone? Mos- we, we were Moscone. talking about this yesterday. I'm not- I think it's Moscone. I don't know. I Moscone. We need, we need to we ask one of the experts that. from the we ASA do. when they come on a little we bit We do. We'll, we'll ask them. But it is beautiful nonetheless. Um, guys, it's been a great meeting so far, yeah? Great conversations. Really yeah. interesting guests. Really looking forward to today. Yeah, absolutely. And enjoying San Francisco, Guy? It's absolutely fantastic. And I've seen San Francisco fog at its finest now this morning. <laughs> I've, I've heard about it, read about it, not seen it. We're it was there. today. Yeah. <laughs> Tick. <laughs> yes, we have ticked the box on it. It was a gorgeous day, absolutely stunning yesterday. And um, we were able to walk around just a little bit. I hope you guys were able to get out and see some of the sites at least for a couple hours. I didn't I didn't work you too hard yesterday, did we? No, it was good. <laughs> Got oh, some sunshine. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm told work I'm working, you know, 20 hours a day. So <laughs> yeah, This is nothing, right? <laughs> Guy, what would you say is a highlight from yester- uh, yesterday's chats? Uh, look, I think there were two for me. One was uh, the discussion about the future of anesthesiology, mm-hmm. which I think was absolutely terrific. It was yeah, visionary, pragmatic, mm-hmm. and sort of strategic, and that was marvellous. And I think the other amazing appealing thing was talking to the young folk, yes. the young folk from the Black College, because uh-huh. you know, what terrific people, what a terrific system, what a great way to... to help our diversity uh, uh, in in our medicine generally, but in our specialty. So that really spoke to me a great deal, uh, yeah. a couple of great folks. Yeah. yeah. I would say if you listen to any of the podcasts, all of them have been really spectacular, but that one was probably one of my favorites too. Majesty Greer and Eli McMillan, two phenomenal students from Howard University, uh, medical students. And it was just, it was great to hear their experiences, what they've been through and how they've gotten to where they are. And um, yeah, it was, it was very inspiring. inspiring. Yeah, truly inspiring. Was yeah. yeah, absolutely. Mike, what about you? What would you say would be kind of your favorites from yesterday? So I'm supposed to choose something different, aren't I? But I have to say those were the standouts yeah. <laughs> for me. I, I mean, I, th- I thought we had, there was a, a thread throughout the day around was. technology, AI, prediction how, how anesthesia is going to change and that yeah. was in george's mm-hmm. conversation but also elsewhere and, and i suspect that's going to recur through today it's yeah. it's, it's a real theme the plenary lecturer yesterday yes. was talking about the same thing but the most i thought george was fantastic and yeah. i thought majesty and eli were, were yeah. really impressive i loved that we were talking a lot about perioperative medicine we didn't go deep on it we do usually in top my talk but just to know that that is really coming to the forefront of the specialty i think is encouraging to me, just because I think it is it's such a, a space that we really need to start focusing on. It, it doesn't seem to be a discussion point or it, it's just part of what we do now, it's, yeah. uh, which is good. Yeah, it's way cool. I really enjoyed the discussion, though it was very deep, about the Medicare cuts and MIPS and trying to you know wade our way through that because it is a very complex topic. And I think the more discussion we have about it, the better it is for the frontline providers, clinicians like us who are at the bedside working and grinding and out. Sometimes you know, we think we don't need to know about that, but I think it's really important that we do. So I actually really enjoyed that conversation too. And actually, David Hovard. Yeah. D- oh, gosh, was, yes. I mean, super impressive. And, and some information that was completely new to me that, I mean, the rate of loss of nitrous oxide from their pipeline I system. I think I that, actually made a call I've, home. I've emailed my people back at home <laughs> saying, can you check the logs to see kind of what we're using and what we should be using? Because. You don't ever imagine that, that that's the case. But if it's an easy switch to go from pipelines to bottles, and so those of us who do still see a place for nitrous oxide can be sort of retained with a degree of sort of environmental sustainability, that's that's great. But you just yeah. don't think about that. No. Still, I laugh. I wish I would have had a picture when he said that, when he made that <laughs> comment, because both your eyebrows <laughs> went up like that. It was an eyebrow-raising moment. Yeah, that was... That was great. Yeah, I mean, I just loved all of it. It's always so good to be here at Anesthesiology. The meeting is always fantastic. And the conversations, the folks that we get to talk to, I, I feel like are it is really inspiring. It's good to hear, you know, what's going on. And we just want to say thank you to the American Society of Anesthesiology for doing this for us and putting Top Med Talk here 
next to center stage in the exhibit hall. We've had great traffic. Everybody's been so wonderful. Um, and so, you know, thank you to them because we couldn't do this without their support. And, and to our sponsors, of course. Yes. Yes. So GE Healthcare, you, they've been phenomenal um, support for Top Med Talk. Medtronic over the years has been a longstanding supporter of ours. And of course, Edwards Life Sciences, who were really a founding sponsor um, for Top Med Talk. That keeps us going. That's what keeps everything free and open to the world. And we do have listeners from all over the world, over a hundred countries um, that we have listeners from. So thank you to our listeners. Thank you all out there who listen every day, um, download the podcast, uh, you know, give us feedback where it's always nice whenever we go to meetings to have chats. Um, it's really cool. So thank you all. Um, so today we're super excited. We're getting ready to tee up a conversation here in just a second. Ben Gibson, who is from the UK, you're going to be talking I to him. I can just see him. He's approaching, He's approaching from across approaching the... Right uh, now, I know. I see him over there. <laughs> the exhibition hall. That's right. We have another conversation with ASA leadership, Ronald Pearl and Peter Killerin, who were, again, talking about artificial intelligence, AI, and an anesthesiology, which I think this is going to be a continual theme, but I'm really excited about that one. Um, Adam Spiegel and Josh Lumley are my colleagues at North Star Anesthesia. We're going to sit down with them and talk about large national anesthesia companies, and there's been a lot of press about that. We're going to walk through that a little bit more. Um, Wolfgang Bill and Thomas Sheeran, from, um, he's from Edwards Life Sciences. Wolfgang is the incoming president of EAI, ESAIC, the European Society of Anesthesiology and Intensive Care. So that'll be great to hear what's happening there. And I think a little bit more AI um, will be going through. Rick Dutton, who is a fan fave here at Top Med Talk. We love chatting with Rick. He's such a good friend. And um, we're going to be talking about him about um, neuromuscular transmission, neuro neuromuscular monitoring, and the new guidelines that came out this last year. I think we touched on that yesterday. And then later this afternoon, Elizabeth Rebello, Louisa and Dan Cole, Mike Scott is going to be talking about the new APSF um, paper that's coming out on in interoperative hypotension. So super excited. You know, that's one of our big topics here at Top Med Talk. And then we get to talk to the World Congress um, of Anesthesiologists, Adrian Gelb, Wayne Morris, and Tony Jin, and hear what's coming up for WCA 2024 in Singapore. So keep on the lookout. And then we have a surprise guest during the happy hour from five to six later today. So check back with us, guys. All right, gentlemen, excited? It's Looking be forward a fun to day. it. <laughs> packed <laughs> dance card as usual. Very exciting. I know. I told these guys earlier. I was like, "Well, sorry, our schedule got a little busy today. Sunday <laughs> was going to be our light day, so we'll we'll hang in there. It'll be great. Stick with us today. You know, you can find us at topmedtalk.com. The schedule is up there. The live uh, stream will be going all day. We'll probably, when we're not here talking, be streaming some of the conversations from yesterday. And um, you know, you can find us on LinkedIn X. I've been getting it right. Uh, Facebook, we are there on social media and um, be sure to like us and all of our videos on YouTube too. So start going over to YouTube and watching some of these because we think that that's going to be a good platform for us. So thanks for sticking with us. Thanks for all of our listeners listening out there today. Cheers, everybody. Top Med Talk. Thanks for downloading Top Med Talk. Don't forget to subscribe via your podcatcher. Don't forget to check us out on social media. We're on Twitter, Facebook, LinkedIn, and YouTube. And also, don't forget, Top Med Talk is the broadcasting arm of EdPom, evidence-based perioperative medicine. We'd love you to find out more about that. If you check out edpom.org, you can find low prices on some of the conferences we're organizing around the world. Many of them are virtual and don't even involve you leaving your own home. Check out edpom.org now.